I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to write domain for rational functions. The question is write domain using interval notation f of x equals to 2x minus 1 divided by x square minus 1 and g of x is equal to 1 over x square plus 1. Whenever we have a rational function we cannot divide by 0 so the concept here is that denominator should not be equal to zero. So that's the concept, right? Now, so we need to analyze the denominator in these cases whenever we're talking about rational functions. As you know, rational functions are quotient of two polynomials and individually, the polynomials in the numerator and denominator will not have any restrictions, right? So the one which is in the denominator, so we normally write a rational functions as equals to uh, p over q, right, where q of x is not equal to 0. So that gives restrictions, correct? Restrictions to the values of x, so, so that becomes domain. Domain is all possible values of x, correct? So that is how all this is connected. So let us solve the denominator for both. It is x squared minus 1. That should not be equal to 0. This is what we are trying to figure out. That is to say, x squared is not equal to 1 or x is not equal to plus minus square root of 1, which you know is plus minus 1, right? So we get our domain, which is everything but plus minus 1, correct? So in interval notation, we can write domain of this particular function as all x values from minus infinity to minus 1 union from minus 1 to plus 1, right, plus 1 union from 1 to infinity, right. So that is how you could write this answer. So there are two breaks in between. Okay. Next one. Next one is very interesting. Most of the time when we talk about rational functions, we are always talking about restrictions. Now let's look into this one. So we have x square plus 1, that should not be equal to 0. That is the only restriction here. So that is to say, x square is not equal to negative 1. And you know, x square is always positive. So in this particular case, we have no restrictions. So it is important to understand that even you can have rational functions, which will not have any restriction, right? I like you to sketch the graph of this function and then see for yourself why this does not have restrictions. To sketch the graph, you know, you could do reciprocal. So if you sketch x squared plus 1, what I will do here is I will do it in two steps. Let me sketch x squared plus 1 first, which is kind of like this, right? So you see that this graph of x squared plus 1, this is uh, x squared plus 1. It doesn't have any x-intercept. It does not cross the x-axis, correct? So therefore, it has no restriction. So when you sketch this graph, then what you get is kind of like this. Anyway, where well, this point is 1, right? So this is how you get. So the domain is all real numbers here. There are no restrictions at all, right? So that is how this function looks like. It's a very important function and therefore I'm um, emphasizing more than required here. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.